Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Well, one thing we want to do in the county is prevent mosquito breeding. We want to make homeowners aware that uh, they could be breeding mosquitoes right in their backyards. We want to prevent that because those container breeders can transmit diseases such as West Nile, Zika, chikungunya, dengue. Pots uh, that hold plants can breed. They need to be draining so they need to have holes in the bottom. Sometimes they'll have a saucer around the pot and that saucer will hold water and that can breed. Here's an ornamental item, a boot, which normally would hold water and could breed. So if you have a container in your yard, if you fill it up with dirt or sand and it won't allow the water to have a surface, then it won't breed. Bags like this, a lot of people will use a half of a bag and then they put it by a shed and then you have that fold. There will be breeding in that plastic. As, as it holds water. So here is a tree hole. And what the leaves do as they break down is they produce bacteria that would be food for the larval mosquitoes. And they'll be very, very happy in a small little hole like this. The solution for something like this is to fill it with sand or dirt. These bags are new. It looks like they just cleaned up. But again, it, it will hold water. And eventually, if this stays here for any length of time, it will breed. Trampolines generally have a surface that drains water. If leaves accumulate, if it's not used, you can have breeding on top of that surface. Little things even like this ladder, over time it will hold water and can breed. This type of siding, if it's not kept clean, can hold water and trap water and then you can have breeding. Kids' play sets and toys are often breeding if they're not used frequently. Uh, some play sets will have tires, and the tires uh, will hold water if there's no holes in the bottom of the tire. A lot of people will drill holes, or they'll come with holes in the bottom so there is no uh, water being held in the tire. They don't have a bird bath, but a lot of homeowners do. Bird baths, if they're not cleaned properly and often enough, they will breed mosquitoes. And there's two types of mosquitoes. One will lay eggs on the surface of the water. But there's another type of mosquito that will lay eggs that adhere, they stick to the side of the bird bath. And if you don't scrub the sides of the bird bath and remove those eggs, all the dumping in the world won't remove that breeding. I see water on the pool cover, so let's take a look and see if it's breeding. Okay, so we do have a, a few larvae. That little one right there, see it? There are four levels of, of larval stages. These are about two. So they have another week or two before they would be, emerge as adults. You could get thousands, if not tens of thousands, out of an area this large with this much water. With regards to gutter, there's two areas that homeowners need to look at. Some drains will have extenders. They're corrugated. It will hold water, and the mosquitoes will lay eggs in that corrugation. Some of them are sold with holes. Others, you have to actually put holes in them yourself. You want that to drain. You can see that there's some debris in the gutter. So if that gets clogged to the point where it's holding water, the gutter will begin to breed mosquitoes. Your landscape is immaculate. There was a small little tree hole uh, back there at the base of the tree that was dry. We did find water on top of the bags from the rain that we just right. had, but I know you're gonna get rid of those. The only place that we found water and breeding was the pool cover. The gutters are very clean. It appears to be draining properly now, you just have to keep an eye on it. Okay. I actually brought some mosquito larvae and pupae with me. A lot of people don't know what they look like. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is what a homeowner needs to look for in standing water on their property. Okay. It was definitely an eye opener and it really makes me more aware of, you know, where I have to check. But I will, I'm gonna check the gutters because if there are leaves there, I don't want them to build up. And the, the pool cover, I'm gonna address that today. I think we have another pool pump I'm gonna try out. <laughs> This was a very good exam. Everything was good, very little breeding, very little water. That's what everybody wants to strive for when it comes to being a homeowner. Go to cdc.gov to get more information on how to prevent mosquito breeding in your backyard.